Hello there, my name's Mark, and these are my dice sales, and I've been recently getting back into X-Wing, X-Wing 2.0 that is. So, I went to a tournament at Fanboy 3, a uh, bit of a last minute thing, I, the first game I had to buy so I could get my list together, and then I had two games, and I fought against some K-Wings, and uh, an impossible uh, scum list with tracks beams and such like that. And then, just last night, I've recorded a bat rep of... Um, me playing my list versus some droid separatists. So, um, the bat rep, I'm trying something new. I'm trying to narrate over the top of it, as well as put on a few key notes. So you can silence me if you want, and there's ho hopefully you can just tell from the action, and there'll be a few key notes of uh, what I thought was an important uh, point at that point in the game, just popping up as text on the screen. And uh, that's about it. So I'm just really cutting out all the thinking time and all the dice rolls. Um, let me know if you want to see more of that in the future. And uh, yeah, I will see you on the other side. So one more thing, it starts with some photos of the fanboy tournament and then it clicks, goes into the seven minute bat rep. There'll be a timestamp below. See you on the other side. Hello there, my name's Mark and these are my Dice Tales and today I've been playing X-Wing and it was a great opponent and the first time I got to play versus the new Separatist army, the Droid army. Uh, I haven't played X-Wing for a hell of a long time. Oh, I shouldn't say that. Um, so. I'm going to get at it. It's a seven minute time lapse and I'm just going to go through my opponent's list. I don't have the exact details, I'm literally just naming the ships and maybe some armaments. So he has two hyena class droid bombers there on the back row. Uh, I'll try and label them up. He has a Sith infiltrator. I know it doesn't have Darth Maul on it. I don't know which pilots he took. And I think three vulture class droid fighters. Uh, and what they brought with them, each of them brought a Discord missile, which is the Buzz, buzz Droids. The little, little droids that will attach to your hull and start chopping you up in the middle of space. Uh, so that's his army. My army is, again, my basic list. I'm looking to upgrade soon to newer, uh, newer armies, newer ships and such like that. So I've got Luke in his X-Wing. I've got Nora Wexley in a bomber with an Agile Gunner. Uh, so she can spin her turret around. Uh, she also has a delayed fuse and proton charges, I believe. And then I have Thane, Thane Kral, who can... I, I class him as a sniper because he can flip over damage cards. Um, and I've given him Snapshot, though I do forget to use it in this game. Um, get, I think I get it off once. But I, and when I watched the replay, I realised I could have got it off a few more times. So let's start the, uh, the action. So the time lapse starts right at the end of turn one. We've just moved in from the very first phase. He's moved up. We don't see that. I'm moving up and we're going straight into, I think the second turn. Everything's just flying forward. I'm gonna get straight in there with Nora Wexley. And I want Luke just skirting around the outside. He, he's skirting on the um, Sith Infiltrator. Um, my initial plan was to go and pick up all the droids, uh, but it didn't really turn into that. He has a barrage at Nora Wexley, um, but I roll amazing defense dice on the first few turns. Uh, and when, she, when they're up close and in range one, her power kicks in and if she gets even more amazing in the next turn. Uh, I always try, I've now ordered my card, so I always remember to shoot Thrain. Thrain card last, so I can use his ability to flip damage cards. Um, so that's what I'm doing here. We're shooting, uh, getting a lock on with the force and uh, shooting at Sith Infiltrator with Luke. He's launched uh, the Buzzsaw droids at Nora Wexley. Uh, so sh I think they were just out of range, but I'm going to fly straight into them on the next turn. And we'll edit out the pauses while the dice get rolled. The barrage of uh, fire coming now at Nora Wexley. I think I do some pretty amazing dice rolling. Okay, I drop a proton bomb with a uh, a delayed charge, and his entire swarm goes after Thrain Carl. Thrain, I'm going to say this name right. Thane Krell, Thane Krell, I think it is. Um, I sort of anticipate that, and Thane Krell just uh, bugs out on a straight straight four, uh, getting out of the way. Luke does a loop de loops, come around the back of the Sith infiltrator, and Nora literally just crashes. She's got nothing else to do there. At the start of the next turn, though, I drop a second bomb. So really, he's got nowhere to go. I'm gonna, my first one's gonna detonate. Uh, the second one, I'm not gonna do a delayed fuse. I'm just gonna detonate it because I think there's gonna be a lot of bumping going on. 
I think I get off the second uh, photon torpedo into the back of the Sif Infantry Tracer. It's looking very wounded. I think it's something like four hits. His shields came down on the first barrage. Uh, it must be on like two health or three health or something like that at the moment. So I'll, I'll look into recording more detail and future uh, bat reps. This is just me getting back into X-Wing for a, after, as I say, it must be a year or so. Let's check, check back in my videos and see when it was. Uh, so if things go wrong for him here, he bumps the Sith, the Sith Infiltrator, can't get out of the way. Um, now I think I make a mistake here. I go straight in with Luke and I fire at that Sith Infiltrator. What I should have done, because they, uh, Krell doesn't have uh, any other options, I should have shot with Krell to see if I could take it out, and then Luke could have possibly taken out one of those uh, bomber droids or something else in his arc. But Luke takes out the Sith Infiltrator. Sith... <laughs> Luke takes out the Sith Infiltrator. Luke takes out the Sith Infiltrator. Um, I don't know, I felt it's looking pretty good for me at this moment, but I'm getting in very close to a swarm. Um, bit of a panic time. And Nora Wexley, this is the this is a great turn. This is where her natural defense kicks in. Because everyone's at range one. And the only thing in, in that they can target really. And my bomb goes off though. I think it just stuns a pilot. It stops them using focus. But they all use calculate anyway, so it doesn't really bother them. Again, yeah, this is critical. It just flown his bombers into the back of Krell. I'm not too sure if he's ionized me at this point. I'm ionized my Y Wing. I'm ionized at one point, so I go do crash into. I'm going to be ionized in a moment and crash into that, that uh, asteroid just in front of me. Ah, this pit. He's, uh, all his droids managed to launch their uh, Discord missiles. On that turn, if I'd moved Krell first, he wouldn't have got those Buzz droids attached. Would have had an extra life life point, would have had an extra time shooting. So I'm giving it away here. He's gonna get shot out of the sky in a moment. Now everything is shooting at uh, Thane Krell, and he's got some uh, Discord buzz droids attached to his hull. So he can't repair himself. Uh, he's gotta try and do a uh, barrel roll to shake off those droids. So Nora and Krell are looking in a risky position at the moment. Luke, however, has got a big gun line. He's just going for anything in that row. Right, at the end of this turn, I'm going to knock those two bombers. I didn't realize that I did it on the day. I, just, I must have just twigged it on my uh, big jumper. So they're going to change direction <laughs> at the end. So I do apologize about that. Then Krell gets stuck. I don't think any maneuver could have got him out of that, uh, that jam. Laser bolts are firing. So he's always calculating, and uh, that, that's his infiltrator. If I took out a droid, it would have given everyone calculates and made him much more offensive. So I sort of managed to shrug off a couple of hits. Thane's down. The Y Wing's down. Now we're down to Luke with overwhelming odds. So, and I do quite well in making a comeback here. I think I do quite well in making a comeback here. So I do a very nifty maneuver. I'm just avoiding those uh, droids again. I think I've taken out one of the uh, vulture, vulture class droids. Sweeping around into a loop the loop. Turning fates. I do a lot of t talk about. I think I'll just look slightly off angle. I'm talking about missing that uh, asteroid field. If I do another loop the loop and come back around, just jousting. So I think that makes a bit of a decision for my opponent. And he tries to anticipate where I'll be. I just nudged him here. I think I was ionized again. I think he's out of iron missiles right now. He comes round, and this is where he barrel rolls. I think he's going to block me, but I come in. I've got one hit point left at this point, and I come in offensively. Is that a K turn? I think a Talon roll, I'm not too sure. Take out that bomber, so it's two against one. 
one hit point left and I think he takes me out at this point that little vulture class droid gets a lucky shot I have no force left and I roll blanks boom bye bye Luke bye bye rebels that was uh, my first game in a long time and it was a fantastic game playing a new army that I've never seen before I have a taste for the droids because I really want to pick them up in Legion and seeing that list and those buzz droids look like a great discord missiles look like a whole lot of fun Hello there, so thanks for watching, welcome back. Uh, this is just the last end bit ramble. Uh, I really love the game, and uh, yeah, I definitely look, liked seeing the droid separatist army. I wasn't quite impressed by the FFG previews, but when I see them in action, they make you a little bit giddy and I want to give them a try now. Uh, so that's about it. Um, if you're interested in shopping on Amazon or Element Games, I do have affiliate links below and they do help out my channel. And um, I'm looking forward to playing more X-Wing, more Star Wars Legion. And uh, there, I think I'm going to try and focus on them a bit more. I may have said that last year, so we'll see how it goes. Um, I am keeping an eye on tournaments. Um, possibly I'm thinking of a kill, kill team tournament. And I'm also looking strongly at Rangers of Shadow Deep, possibly trying to do a campaign game of that in my solo time, if that comes about. And I'm always working on improving my effects and uh, presentation of these bat reps done fast. Um, so if you like, subscribe. Uh, if you want to send a comment, it really does help me out. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Mark's Dice Tales. Goodbye.